Yo, what is going on guys? Z Karma here and welcome back to another boring math video here in Borderlands 3. Today, we're going to be talking about this anointment right here. Killing an enemy grants 5% weapon damage and reload speed for 25 seconds and this effect will stack. I'm going to be doing a full breakdown of this anointment and by the end of the video, you should know exactly how this works. So before I get into the breakdown, if you guys find this video informative or helpful in any way, a like rating will be greatly appreciated. And if you want to subscribe for more content, that will be awesome as well. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. So I'm going to start off by using this SMG. And as you can see, the base damage is 353, but I'm going to be using kinetic against armor. So here we're only doing 80% of this damage. So that gives us 282.4. So that is going to be the base damage. I currently have a skill that increases my damage by 20%. So that's going to bring my damage up to 339. So that's what we're going to start off with. And according to this anointment, if I get one kill, I will get 5% weapon damage. Keep in mind that this is additive with other weapon damages like this one right here. So that'll be a 25% increase from 282.4, giving us 353. And with my second kill, if I were to get obviously 10% extra weapon damage, that should be 282.4 times 1.30, giving us 367. So what I'm going to do now is just go down there, shoot once, do the 339, kill an enemy. The next enemy should take 353, kill one more, and the final enemy should take 367. So let's go ahead and check that out. So I were to shoot this guy, that is at 339, then I'll kill him. This should be... 353 there you go and finally i just kill one more 367 there it is as you guys can see currently the anointment is working as it's supposed to now let's move on to the next part of this anointment it says that reload speed is also increased by five percent after killing an enemy so here i'm not going to go too into detail because reload speeds are pretty short what i will explain is how you calculate this so basically when you increase speed that means that you're going faster. You don't multiply by this value. Instead, you divide. So let me just give you a quick example. Let's say this value was actually 10 seconds. And if somehow we get enough stacks to get 100% reload speed, that means that we're going twice as fast, which would be 5 seconds. So you basically divide 10 divided by 2, you get 5. Simple, right? So let's just put that into that 3.3 seconds. Same concept. If I get one kill, I'm going to be going 5% faster. So what I do is divide 3.3 by 1.05, giving us 3.14. So after my first kill, my reload speed will be 3.14. And if I were to somehow get 100% reload speed with those stacks, that would basically cut this time in half. So I would be reloading in 1.65 seconds. So I'm just going to leave this part at that. I will be uploading a separate video talking about reload speed and how to calculate it whenever you combine skills and anointments like this. And now what I'm about to show you is something pretty cool that I found out while using this skill. So basically what I found out was that all these stacks that you get from killing an enemy, 5% weapon damage and reload speed actually apply to every single weapon in your inventory so basically it's universal you can switch weapons and these stacks will remain so if you are using a queen's call for example doing this you get some stacks you switch to another one that also increases your damage you'll get more stacks and it literally works for every weapon so i can switch to this crater's mp5 that does not have that anointment and i'll also have bonuses on this weapon i won't be able to keep stacking obviously because this weapon doesn't have that anointment but that weapon damage that I stacked with these other weapons will apply to this one. So let me show you real quick. I'm going to show you the base damage of this weapon. Then I'm going to switch to this redistributor, get a couple of kills and switch back to the MP5. And you'll see that my damage is going to go up. So I'm going to show you the base damage of this weapon first. And it should be, there you go, 1077. Now I'm going to get a ton of kills with this weapon and then show you that the stacks will apply to other weapons even though they don't have the anointment so i think that should be enough kills yeah they should and then if we shoot this guy right there you can see it's up to 1301 so as you can see getting stacks of this anointment will apply to every other weapon that you're using it doesn't matter if you switch out to a weapon that does not have that anointment 
And if you switch to another weapon that has this annoying man, you can keep stacking those bonuses. So now let's move into the next part. It says that it lasts 25 seconds. So this effect should last 25 seconds. So let's go ahead and show you. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to shoot one of these guys, right? And we're currently doing 339. We have no stacks from this anointment so far. So if I kill one of these guys, I'll start up a timer on the top left. And then by the end of the 25 seconds, it should go back to that 339. So let's go ahead and check it out. Kill. Okay, the timer should have started. And we're just going to walk around and periodically keep checking. So let's throw a 353. Still at 353. Like I said, I'll be checking periodically just to make sure. There you go, 339. And as you can see, that was 25 seconds. I had tested it before recording the video. So, so far, so good. Everything about this anointment seems to be working properly. So now the question is, for every stack, does every stack has its own timer? So that's what I'm going to test right now. If every stack has its own 25 second timer, which obviously should be the case, but let's just go ahead and test it. Like we said, my initial damage was 339. My secondary damage was 353. And after two stacks, I should get 367. So what I'm going to do is kill one enemy, which will give me 353 damage. And I'll start up the timer, right? And then 10 seconds into that time, I will kill a second enemy, which will bring it to 367. And once the timer hits 25 seconds, theoretically, my damage should go down one stack, which would take me to 353. And then 10 seconds later, I should go down to 339. So let's go ahead and take that first spin. Doing 339 right there. We're going to shoot an enemy and then wait 10 seconds. Here we go, we killed an enemy, we're going to wait about 10 seconds. Kill another one. And now, let's just look at the damages. 367, there you go. When the timer hits 25 seconds, we should get down to 353. There you go, it's 353. And now if we wait about 10 seconds, we should still get this 353. And as you can see, we still have the damage of 353 ongoing because every single stack has its own timer, which is awesome because that's how it should work. Otherwise, the skill would suck. So final thing I want to show you is if there is a cap. And my answer to that is I don't know. It's just so hard to get that many kills within 25 seconds. So my theory is that there is no cap. I will show you how much I can stack. I'll probably get more kills with Zayn doing this, but I'm currently on Amara. But realistically, you're not going to get these many kills within 25 seconds, as you can do here with Scrap Trap. So I think the cap is literally out of the question, but we're still going to talk about it. So I'm going to go down here and let me show you the damage real quick. So the damage that it says on this redistributor is 391, but I'm using shock against corrosive. So I'm only doing 65% of that damage, that being 254.15. And then I'm also adding this bonus over here of wrath, which brings my damage to 305. And then I also have to apply the 40% from Tempest, which brings my initial damage to 427. So let's go ahead and show you guys that's 427. So what I'm going to do now is get as many stacks as I can and then finally see my highest damage number that I can do and just show you how many stacks I actually got. I don't think I'll be able to replicate the highest I've gotten. I've gotten all the way to 953 damage, but I usually get stuck around the 850 mark. So uh, let's just get it started. Let's get as many stacks as we can. By the way, if you get kills with barrels or any other source, you also get the bonuses. Let's just keep on going. Sorry about my aim, guys. I'm old and I'm on mouse and keyboard, so I got no aim assist. There you go. I'm, I'm currently at 782, and it seems like I'm going to get stuck there for now. There we go. We got 800. We got 836. 889. And I think that's where I'm stuck most of the time. Okay guys, so the maximum damage that I saw right now, it's 889, but like I said, I've seen 953. 
So in order to find out exactly how many stacks I got, I need to divide 889 by 1.4 because we are removing the bonus that we're getting from Tempest, which is a skill that gives me 40% extra shock damage. So when we remove that bonus, we're left with 635, and then we divide that by our base damage of 254, which leaves us with 2.5. And from that number, 100% of that is already the 254, so let's just say it's 1.5. Then we take away the 20% from Wrath, which leaves us with 1.3. So basically, we got a 130% increase in damage from this anointment. So 130 divided by 5. Since we're getting 5% per stack, that means I got 26 stacks within the first 25 seconds so as you can see if there were to be a cap you would have to kill more than 26 within 25 seconds which isn't very realistic in most scenarios so yeah guys that's basically going to be it for the video i hope you guys find this video informative or helpful in some way and if you did please don't forget to hit that like button for me and if you want to subscribe for more content like this that'll be amazing as well hope y'all have a good rest of your day and i will see you guys on the next one peace out